I am Veena Taneja. I work in Department of Immunology and Rheumatology. And we are trying and we are focusing in my lab on the uh, translational potential of the gut microbiome and to see how we can use the gut microbiome for the benefit of the patients with rheumatoid arthritis. We have more microbes on us, in us, than the cells in our body. So gut being the biggest organ in the body has the most microbes in our body. And these microbes actually have a lot of function. They uh, not only digest our food, now there is a growing realization that they are also involved in our adaptive immune response. So there is an understanding of how the gut microbes interact with the host factors, which is being used as a potential for therapy. So what we are trying to do is understand how the patients differ from the healthy controls and use that information to either figure out if they can be used as biomarkers to diagnose patients, or we can use the beneficial gut micro microbes for the benefit of uh, patients as a therapy. We are hoping that by the information we generate from the patients and then using that information and taking it to the bench and figuring out if those, which are the bacteria, which, uh, microbes which are good or which are the microbes which are bad and then see how we can treat patients depending on what these bacteria are producing or the metabolites, we can target the microbes themselves or the metabolites they are producing or the pathways they are involved. The, the biotechnology advance and the landscape is now actually um, open for viable, which where the very viable efforts are being um, tested for how to use the gut microbes, not only for rheumatoid arthritis, but for other diseases as well as for healthy aging. And this will be a most important and emerging medical research for a while now.